Hey, in this video I'm going to be sharing with you how to carve out and craft a golden melody in your song and how to do it in the most efficient way and most effective way so you write great songs that have a catchy repetitive melody that gets stuck in the listener's head. Now if you're a songwriter who wants to develop their craft and get better lyrically, melodically, structurally and everything songwriting then you're in the right place. My name is Danny Boyle, I'm the founder of Songwriters International where we help songwriters develop their songwriting craft. Now I have put together a completely free training below this video where I walk you through my entire songwriting process from start to finish on how I craft a song and then how I then pitch that song to a global artist. So if you want to learn how to do that stuff in further depth then go ahead in that description and I will share that with you in a completely free video. Now as a songwriter you probably know that melody is one of if not the most important parts of the songwriting process. It's how we create hooks, it's how we get a listener to come back and repeatedly listen to our song time after time. And you've probably heard things like earworms or catchy or hooky or repetitive. We do that through melody. So that's why it's such an important part of the process. But how do you carve out and how do you craft a golden melody? A melody that is everything that a melody needs to be, catchy, hooky and repetitive. When a lot of the time as songwriters, we just come out with random ideas, nothing that really sticks. So I wanna share with you and the best approach to find a great melody, a golden melody that you're gonna love every single time you listen to your song. Now the first thing I suggest for you if you play an instrument is to go here. I'm gonna to go to my guitar, you could go to a piano, you could go to music production, or you could collaborate with somebody who does play those instruments. Now I don't want you to worry about chord progression. So many times a lot of musicians get caught up in playing chords that are far too complex. They want to play up and down the neck of a guitar and it's not really necessary because melody is going to get you a long way to writing a great song, not the set of chords that you create. So for this example we're going to use an A minor, we're going to use a G and we're just going to use an F. Very standard chord progressions. Now what we're going to do is just put those chords out, we're going to play them and we're just going to come out with ideas and we're going to see what it is we come up with in the moment. Don't overthink it, don't try and find anything specific, just go with the flow. This is where we just songwrite without any clear direction for this moment in time and we're just going to see what golden nuggets we can actually get out of the idea. Every time I know why I can be, yeah, oh, yeah. Cause you make my heart break. You make a little bit of my body. Cause every time I know why we can be together, taking better every time we go. And that's it. We're just going to go with the flow. I actually really like that. What I would say is a chorus idea. It really hits that mountain top. And when we're writing a song, especially the chorus, a great tip for you is to try and hit the mountain top. When you listen to your song, does it feel like it elevates you to that part? When you go to the chorus, does it feel like it's taking you up to that real climax of the song, which is the chorus, and it's going to take you there melodically. So that's what I would do for one example. We might change the chords this time. Let's do an E minor, let's do a C, a G, and a D. And we're just going to play the chords again, and we're just going to come out with any ideas that come to us in the moment. I really like that melody. And there we have it, right? I probably would work that melody a little bit. But I really like that, what I would call pre-chorus melody. Because every time I bum 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 bum
catchy. Another thing that I want to pick out here is when I start the song, I usually start with what we call a static melody. It's a melody that does not move very much. So let me share that with you. I know why I da, da. It's not moving very much. Da, 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 da. And it's great for a verse in our songs to deliver stories. So if we want to have a really detailed lyric, a really poignant lyric, we would probably put it in there in the verse. That's where we can get descriptive, get down to the real nitty gritty of the story. And then the chorus is where we're gonna be a little bit more simplified. And we're just gonna have a simple lyric, but with a great hook. Well, that's what I would do if you play guitar. What do you do if you don't play an instrument? I'm gonna share with you a great tip and how I would go about this process. Now there's also a website online that you can use, it's called Chord Player. And it's a place where you can go to where there's every single chord known to the human ear that we can use, we can drag and drop into a sequence of chords and then we can play that chord progression out and start to write to it, okay? So that's called Chord Player. I'm not gonna give you an in-depth uh, demonstration of this, but I am gonna show you how I've just put the chords together. I'm gonna play them out loud and then I'm gonna show you how I would put the melody on top to try and find what we would call the golden melody. So hopefully you can still hear me okay. You can probably hear now we've got a piano in the back, okay? And we're just gonna write over the top. Oh yeah, cause I, I can't be the only one, no, no. And I, I really like that melody. I know, but da, 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 da. Let's speed it up. Cause every time I walk away, you know just where I go. Hey! And every time I know you been, dun, 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 no. Cause I don't know why I got the rhythm of love. Then let's try and go somewhere bigger. Cause every time you walk away, I know why I stay up on heart. Check a feeling type of way. I know I did that. I no, 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 why, yeah. No, why. And that's how we just freestyle over the top. We could do that in lots of different ways. Now from there, what you would do if you were writing, if I was writing a song on the guitar, whether I had some chords playing in the background, I would then put this on record. Okay, so I'd have my phone, I'd have a laptop, wherever it might be. I'd be recording out the ideas. Or what I would do is I would stop myself in the songwriting process when I thought I'd found what I would see as a golden melody, a really strong melody. And then I'd stop back at the beginning. I'd go, okay, cool, what is it I, I was saying? What lyrics came to me in that moment? Is it love? Is it happiness? Is it sadness? Is it something else? Then I would start to build up the song from there. But what we've done here, we've found the golden melody. And if you don't find the golden melody, something that gets you really excited to want to start songwriting, then continue this process for five or 10 minutes. It might be that it comes to you very quickly, like I was able to find something, or it might be that it takes a little bit longer. Every session is different. But if you dig and you're willing to go a bit deeper and, and spend a little time on this stuff, I guarantee you'll find a melody that sticks and what you will then see is your golden melody in the songwriting process. And then you can start to build your song out of it. And a great little tip for you as well is to try and hear what you're saying. So in those melody ideas, when you're just going, da 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 da, then if you say something like, da 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 da, why'd you walk away? Oh, I like that line, why'd you walk away? And then let's try and walk backwards. Why did you walk away? Well, maybe it's because of X, Y, and Z. And then you've got an idea and a concept to start building your song from. So go ahead and try this out in your songwriting. See what melody golden nuggets you can come up with in that creation process, in that free flow, where you just let yourself be creative. You don't know where the song is going in that moment, but you're just allowing yourself to be com completely free as the songwriter and come up with a magnitude of ideas. So I hope you've enjoyed this video on how I go about writing a golden melody and how I go about finding that golden melody. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, drop a comment below for any other content that you'd like to see, drop us a like. And as I mentioned before, we've got a completely free training where I walk you through my songwriting process, where I take a deeper dive through that process how I write great songs and then how I pitch those songs to global artists. So if you want more on that, head into the description area, register for the training, and I look forward to sharing that with you and seeing you over on another video.